What's going on, Sniping for Dom fans? All you big, big, sexy supporters out there. How the hell are you guys doing? YouTube, how are you today? Um, today is a very, very sad day for me. I have just, uh, a couple days ago, I got an email from Twitch. And if you guys don't know what I've done for a full-time job for the past year and six months, I've been a full-time broadcaster on Twitch, and it's changed my life. I've made some mistakes, and I've done some really great things in the community. And this is the way, this is my job, this is my career, this is how I supported my four-year-old son. You know, I'm a single dad, and uh, I'm going to tell everybody what happened, the truth about everything, and I'm really trying not to get emotional on you guys, but it's, imagine one of the biggest things in the world being taken away. So, I got banned on Twitch for harassment, and you'll see a thing come up here on the screen. A lot of people on Twitter and stuff in the community are saying that I got banned for other reasons, and it's not. People just run their mouths over the internet. Um, basically, what happened was, I had a fan of mine for over a year that was always in my stream. He uh, he was a big, big supporter of mine, and I kind of thought that we were, we were, you know, on kind of a friendship level. I helped him through multiple problems that he had, um, some really big problems. You know, I talked with him. I, I when I'm off camera, I'm a totally different person. There's sniping for Dom the streamer, and then there's Derek, uh, me. So I've spent multiple hours with this guy. And uh, he come to me uh, about a month, a month and a half ago, and he was looking for some help for his uh, family. Um, you know, I don't know if there was a problem with not working, if he had health problems or, or not too much. Um, but he was asking for, for some money because he had a lot of medical bills for his uh, children. And I'm a dad, so, you know, that stuff kind of hits me hits me hard a little bit. I, I'm weak for that kind of stuff. So I asked him to provide proof, you know, doctor's bills and personal information and stuff like that. And he told me that he wasn't he wasn't going to provide that to me. It was way too personal. And I told him, I said, look, I can't put my name out there or my business on the line if I do a charity stream for you and raise money to give it to you. And then, you know, it comes back on me that you just took the money and ran. I, I couldn't do that. So, uh, this guy started bombarding my channel saying that I was a view botter talking stuff so we got him out of the chat we just banned him completely out of my chat and um, you know I, I said some harsh words just saying you know it's it, it, I said some things that I shouldn't have said um, just saying you know maybe you should have provided me proof instead of lying to me you know whatever but he uh, went out of his way uh, about a month ago on John Scarce's channel you guys should know Scarce um, it's a news channel. I was doing a man show. And that's usually where we get drunk and play video games on Friday nights. And someone came in and said that they knew where I lived. And they said Canton, you know, Ohio. And they said that they were going to murder me and my family. And that they were going to rape my son. So, I'm good at brushing things off. But I'm an entertainer on Twitch. Like I said, there's sniping for Dom, the entertainer. And then there's Derek the person. Um, and a lot of people don't get to know me as a person. So, um, I, I, you know, my big thing around my stream is, you know, I talk shit back to people that talk shit. It's just, it's just the trolly nature, you know, for good, enter good entertainment. So I said some wrong things, and I'm, I'm very, I actually am very sorry for the things that I said because of where it's gotten me now. But I thought, you know, you can go on Twitch and you can see sh partnered streamers that tell people to get cancer and die. It happens every single day. And they're big partnered streamers, and they're still up there. So, you know, the guy told, after that, I told the guy that, you know, I was like, you know, fuck you, dude. I'll beat your ass, knock you out, then I'll make you breakfast and suck your cock afterwards. Like, it's just not logical. You know, it's, you can tell it's in a trolling nature. And then I told him that I would fuck his dead corpse after I was done with him. So, yes, in theory, I'm a man, I can grow up, you know, I can man up to my, my mistakes. That's, that's not good talk. It's not. I just didn't see 
how it was going to come into something like this. Twitch has said that I'm banned indefinitely uh, for um, harassment. And uh, that was not my intention at all. You know, I'm not that type of person to go out and fucking kill somebody or, or rape someone's death. I mean, think about it. It's not logical. It's just me being a trolley person just like everybody else. And how many times my kid has been threatened on stream? Like, you and Twitch doesn't take these people down. Like, it, it's, it's nonsense. So, uh, that's what he found the video of that scares and he turned it into Twitch and he edited it. To where it seemed a little bit worse than really what it was. Like you don't see me smiling in the video. You just see me say, you know, I'm going to call the cops after I knock you the fuck out. And then fuck your dead corpse. So, he definitely played that to his advantage. Um, and it really sucks because, you know, I'm all, I'm all for trying to help the community. That's been my whole persona around this thing. Was trying to help the community out. Trying to build a community. I have another channel called Gaming for Dom. I don't stream on there, but I put it together for smaller streamers to get recognized in the community that will never get recognized. No other bigger streamer does that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there, I, I brought a lot of good to the community. I have a big fan base, and I'm hoping people will go over and support that channel. Um, you know, I'm going to help Kelly get set up with a stream. She's going to start streaming on that channel to help bring things in uh, for, for me and her. Um... So hopefully all my supporters will go over to the Gaming for Dom channel and, uh, you know, support all that that's going on over there. But, uh, I have no idea what's going to happen with Twitch. I'm not sure if they'll give me my account back. I have no idea. I am, I'm extremely sorry and I've cried numerous of times. And, uh, it's, it's very nerve-wracking not knowing what I'm going to be able to do for my son. Um, so if anybody can help in any way, that would be amazing. Um... I love you guys. I really do. Like I'm an entertainer and this is this is what bleeds inside of me. I'm an entertainer and that's it. I just want to entertain people and I want to make the community and the gaming community the best that it can be because it's really really toxic. It really is and and this is one of the things that prove that it is. I do apologize for everything that I may have said or ever hurt anybody, but people have to understand I'm a different person when I'm not on screen. So Maybe I'll try YouTube gaming. I, I have no idea. Uh, may, maybe Twitch will see it in them to to unban me. You know, this is... It's a sad day, and I feel like a piece of shit father. Because I even let it get to this. And that's probably... The worst... That's probably the worst feeling in the world. So... I'm going to get out of here. Thanks, guys, for everything.